now. Hey, you've got Brian. Hey, this is Robert. What's up? It's Logan. Hey, this is Steve. And this is the Bearded Bros Podcast. To it, guys. Oh yeah. Yo. All right. So what? So, what's the story right. for us tonight? Know, uh, yeah, I know. Uh, Brian has some emperor. That's a bigfoot, oh yeah, bigfoot night. <laughs> My favorite monster. <laughs> That's right. I know Brian has some information, so we'll let him. Uh, we'll let him do some talking, and then we'll just jump in whenever. Do it. All right, so Bigfoot, the uh, Pacific Northwest. Oh, wow. Okay, so little, well, maybe not little. A lot of people know Bigfoot is actually found in just about every state, especially right here in our neck of the woods in Ohio. Ohio is actually one of the biggest places to see Bigfoot this side of the Mississippi, especially Salt Fork State Park. Um. Every, as everybody knows, Bigfoot, nine to, ten, uh, nine to ten feet tall, built like a brick shit house. <laughs> Lots of hair. Um, so, yeah, guys, uh, feel free to jump in whenever. What kind of, any questions or? <clears throat> now, we're still planning, as far as I know, anyways, we're still going to plan some kind of, like, camping trip there, right? Yeah, yeah, as okay. soon as we can all get the time to do it. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be the biggest thing is seeing when we can all get free. Like I said, even if it's for a couple of days on the weekends, whatever, and then, you know, we can uh, come back Sunday. Yeah. But, yeah, we need to figure something out. Yeah, I work a lot, so. Right. Yeah, we'll all just have to look at the schedule, like, when we can, look at our schedule about what weekends we can do it, and then uh, we'll just do it. It doesn't have to be, like, in the summertime. It could be, you know, whenever, but figure something out right absolutely so uh, maybe like uh something in the fall fall is great yeah it ain't yeah. too hot ain't too cold that's perfect and yeah. actually we'd probably have the most luck we'd probably have the most luck if um we just treat it like a regular camping trip go down there go fishing so like i was saying before if you're not looking for the big dude often that's when you run into him right at least yeah. that's been my experience. The, the few times that I have run into Bigfoot, that's been my experience. Yeah, we're definitely going to figure something out for sure. Oh, yeah. So Let's when's see. like the, I don't know, maybe I just haven't really looked into it. Uh, like when's the, I guess the uh, the latest like sighting in Ohio? I haven't looked um, into well, that really. Let me uh, pop open the BFRO page here. Um, yeah. BFRO stands for Bigfoot Researchers Organization. It was started by uh, Matt Moneymaker and a few other researchers. I Don't they have that TV show? Yeah, everybody probably knows Matt Moneymaker from uh, mm -hmm. the Finding Bigfoot TV show, but he he is actually a, a Bigfoot researcher. A lot of people, I've seen a lot of people say that uh, it's either Finding Bigfoot or exploration bigfoot or something like that one of the expedition two expedition bigfoot expedit they said one of the two is it's pretty much like fake you know what i'm saying like some of these ghost hunting uh tv shows like they, it's pretty much fake and then the other one is them actually researching it and you know trying to find them oh the, the thing of it is that they're finding bigfoot gets a lot of flack because it's a bunch of guys and a girl who's a skeptic Mm -hmm. Going out in the woods, making a bunch of noise, trying to get results. But gotcha. that's what it is. They they give it a lot of flack because they never actually catch the subject on camera. Right. But that's what you get when you go out there. It's it's They're actually doing research. They're making calls. They're getting 
calls they're finding evidence of Bigfoot. They're not actually finding Bigfoot, Bigfoot himself. Yeah, right. Whereas, uh, like Expedition Bigfoot takes more of a more of a scientific approach. Mm-hmm. You know, with uh, equipment and all kind of stuff like that. Gotcha. I actually enjoy finding Bigfoot a little more. It's not as, you know, meh. You know what I mean? I'll be honest with you. I, I have never watched either one of them. I might have, like, when it first came out, but I have, uh, no, I never watched any of them. Just because I guess I'm one of them skeptics, like, oh, it's a TV show. So some of this stuff is going to obviously be made up, you know, to get ratings and all that. Like, I just, I don't know. I guess I, like, real life like documentaries where they're out there freaking obviously they're not I, finding one i but. feel like all i feel like all reality tv is scripted to some point oh yeah i mean it has to be because they're not going to just let it keep going and then it's going to get boring and they're not going to get ratings in for whatever tv station they're on so they have to do things to make just like like i said just like the ghost hunting stuff obviously they're going to do things to make it seem like they see a ghost or they found a ghost just so they can get the tv ratings and right. right i mean and i know they at, don't always catch stuff right i mean look at mo- mountain monsters now i enjoy mountain monsters i really do i think it's a great show um that is a I'm good not show saying i'm not saying that those people aren't actually you know they're not actually monster hunters because i mean right you, they're, there's all kind of stuff out there that we know nothing about Mm-hmm. But as far as the show goes, I think it is just pure entertainment. I think right. once the cameras stop, then they go back to doing their normal monster hunting thing. Yep. Like I said, I mean, there's there's so many so many TV shows. Just like uh, I don't know if you guys watch it, uh, Storage Wars. You're right. not telling uh, me. Every, yeah, I used to watch that all the time. Right. You're not telling me every time them cameras are on that they're finding all this stuff that's worth all this money. No, I mean obviously right, they're exactly. doing it. They're, they're doing it with the cameras off, and obviously the cameras are only coming on when they find these that, that good stuff, but some of that stuff, man, it's just like, just, yeah, right. I'm sure you found a freaking <laughs> $20,000 crystal ball in this storage locker with this junk surrounding it. <laughs> right. I mean, I mean, check out check out the Outdoor Channel sometime. I Now, it's no secret. You, y'all know that I love to hunt. Mm-hmm. But there has been many a time that I have gone out there in the woods, and I have just sat there all day and didn't Never even fired a shot. Didn't right. see squat. But those guys get out there in the woods and, you know, there's, here it comes, here it comes. And yeah, there's 20 there years that come out. Yeah. Right. There's 20, you know, they what they don't film is all the misses, all yep. the days that, that they don't see nothing. They, they just film from day one to when they kill something. Right. And they make, they're trying to make it seem like it's something that was like in a two day span or something. Right, yeah, yep. exactly. Yep, and they're there for like who knows how long, but yeah, they just cut it into, hey, two days of filming. Right, exactly. Now going back to Logan's question, um, I'm here on the BFRO website. The most recent sighting in Ohio that I found is in. Uh, it was actually in Mahoning County, July nineteenth, twenty twenty one. Oh, okay. So not too not too long ago then. Yeah, not too long ago. Um, according to this report, I'm not going to go through and read the whole thing, but it says here, a uh, couple returning home spots a Bigfoot crossing their driveway outside of Columbiana. Columbiana, okay. Yep, I- I'll actually, um, I'll actually send Robert a link to that report if anybody listening actually wants to read it. Or, you know what, I'll just post it on the group page later on if anybody wants to read it. Yeah, that's fine. I'd give them, you know, even if people that's not watching right now, they can they can look into it. Right, absolutely. The what's cool is the the way that the website breaks everything down is you can go by county in Ohio. Like uh we'll we'll go with our county, Lorraine. The the most recent sighting was in eighty seven, unfortunately. Not including the, the sighting eighty seven. Wow. Well, that's the last reported sighting. Right, right. What about uh, what about Huron County? Oh, let's take a look here, Huron County, because I, I I would say the most recent sighting, in my opinion, uh, well, then again, that's all subjective because we don't know what doesn't get reported. Mm-hmm. Would be the the sighting at Spencer Lake that me and Robert had. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> 
Uh, Huron County, actually, August 2015. What about oh, what about Erie mm -hmm. County? Now well, let's take a look here in a second. The uh, let's see. Yeah. the one in the one in Huron. It was submitted August 26, 2015. Uh, strange game camera photo leads to finding possible footprints outside of New London. I oh, that's right by. That's like 20 minutes from my where I live. I didn't know that New London was uh, in Huron County. Yep. I didn't yep. either. Huh. Yeah, I'll be damned. Oh, uh, let's see here. Huron, Huron. Do, 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 do. Huron. There's actually two in Huron. Um. Oh, I wonder why they put that there. So the, the one that I just talked about with the game mm -hmm. camera, they actually put that under both Huron and uh, Erie. Oh, that's weird. So it's probably like right in that middle area. Uh, August 1998, a series of sounds reports, footprint finds and sightings from a family living near New London. So it's probably the same people just earlier on. Right. But now, I just... count... Oh, go ahead. Sorry. I, was, I was doing some digging, and I found an FBI file from February 24th, 1977 on Bigfoot. Holy cow. Yeah, I mean, they, they've known about them. Oh, yeah, you know it. Well, I mean, just like uh, UFOs. Now the government's coming out saying, yeah, there's, you know, now, yeah, there's UFOs. Obviously, we've known about it. You right. guys, they, they just didn't want to say anything about it. Right, absolutely. Um, You know, it's it's... The, the government knows about Bigfoot. There, that's that's no secret, right? And I, I, uh, there, there's another podcaster that I really enjoy. His name is Cameron Buckner. Um, he runs the What If It's True podcast and the Dixie Cryptid podcast. And you know, Dixie Cryptid, a lot. You know, people write in, uh, email him about their experiences, and he reads them over his podcast. Well, he also writes his own fiction, and um. The fiction he writes, it's about his uh, character he writes about is Steve Lilly. I really, really enjoy the Steve Lilly stories. And basically, Steve Lilly is just a regular guy who's out hunting one day, and a couple of a couple of Bigfoot kill his favorite hunting dog. Ooh. Kill his favorite hunting dog and rip it to pieces right in front of him. Hmm. So he kills one of the Bigfoot and ta takes its. Uh, takes his leg back to his trailer as a trophy and gets contacted by the government to hunt these things. And honestly, I don't think even though even though that's his, you know, fictional story that he wrote, mm -hmm. honestly, I don't think that's too far off. I'm sure the government does have kill teams out there to keep these things in check. Oh, I'm sure. Well, not only that, they want to kill him and do re more research on him as well. Right. You know that that would not surprise me at all. How many uh, how many species do you think there is of a big? I don't, I don't think there's just one. I don't know if if it's necessarily a species per se, because I mean, well, look, take people for example. There's there's all kinds of different people depending on which part of the world you're from, but we're all one species. We're all human, right? Um. I don't think necessarily there's different species. I think it's just climate adaptability. Like, like for example, here in North America, you got Sasquatch or Bigfoot, depending on where in North America you at. Because, I mean, there's other names. Nantinak up in Alaska. Mm -hmm. um, Hairy Man in Canada. You know, the, the Native American tribes all have a different name for him. Right. You know, in uh, Australia, you have the Yowie in... China, there's the urine. Um, Russia has... Oh, shoot. I can't remember the name of the one in Russia, but Russia has their own name. Uh, you got the Yeti in Tibet. Um, it's another one. Uh, basically, you know, every country's got their... Own. Oh, uh, Indonesia... You know the the South Pacific, those islands, there, the jungles around there, uh, the Orang Pendak. That's that's their version of Bigfoot. Even though the Orang Pendak isn't anywhere near 
well, suppo- you know, supposedly quotations, uh, the Orang Pendak isn't anywhere near as big as like the American Sasquatch. Right, right, the, right. The Orang Pendak is only about six feet tall at its biggest. I think the last time I looked into it, you know, it's it's just it's a little weird that every culture has some version of Bigfoot, whether it's a different name, but they they all have similarities. What's funny is um, I think I think every family has their version of a Bigfoot too. Like for us, it's Robert. Yeah. <laughs> 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 um, so, but no, I get, I get what you're saying. <laughs> right. That's I mean, it, it's up. the same. It's the same with the you know dragons. Every every culture has a dragon. You believe in dragons? Like, I, I don't do believe. Think... I don't believe that dragons. Are, are alive and well. I, I, no, know, no, I think but... they went extinct. But you know, I'm. I wouldn't put it past it. You know, once so, upon a time, there were actually dragons. Right, right. So you believe that there were dragons and they went extinct? Yeah, I couldn't really tell you how they went. I, I, I don't know, but it, it's plausible because there again, every culture has their own version of a dragon. The Native Americans have the Thunderbird. Down in Mexico, there, there's Quetzalcoatl. Mm. Over in England, you got the Welsh dragon. J- Japan has its own dragon. China has its own dragon. In uh, Africa, they, they got some kind of dinosaur thing. My uh, my aunt, Debbie, commented and said, don't forget. Well, she said Yeti, which you already said that, but she said, don't forget the skunk ape. Oh, uh, yeah, the skunk ape. <laughs> well, the skunk yep. Fair enough. I mean, the skunk ape is uh, the skunk ape is the uh, Florida Sasquatch. We all know Florida is just a hair different down there. Them people are uh-huh. are amazing people, but everything is just a hair different down there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now the skunk ape supposedly the skunk ape gets its uh, it gets its name because it has a powerful stink. Now, I, I did notice the one encounter I had in Kentucky, and that's another thing that people talk about with Bigfoot encounters is the smell. The three that I've seen, maybe maybe the other two encounters, I wasn't close enough to smell it, but the one in Kentucky I did smell, and that that is a horrible smell that these things have. Did you smell it at all, Robert, or is that the same one that you guys seen? Or I, I didn't smell anything, honestly. Oh. But I was just looking up here. There's this like an actual ape species called the Billy Ape, and yes. like these things are like vicious, like they'll kill you on the spot. And yeah, there's, I've seen something about them, yeah. And there, there's some that actually grew to be over six feet tall. So I mean, I mean, there's some places that that could be the case. And you know, they're just seeing right. that specific ape, and oh, like oh yeah, that's just Bigfoot. Could be. I mean, could you imagine walking up to that freaking thing, though, and, like, thinking it's about to give you a high five and it smacks your head completely off your shoulders? Ain't gonna happen. Right? <laughs> and actually, I mean... the, the Billy Ape, or, or also better known as uh, the Bonobo, it's actually another species of chimpanzee that was actually, actually, that one's a more recent discovery. Really? Yeah. Yeah, the, the Billy Ape is, uh, oh, uh, Debbie says, is, isn't there in Ohio? Gra- yes. Yes, that's uh, that's Ohio's name for Bigfoot is the Grass Man. Yeah. Okay. Now I remember Grass Man. I've always thought like when I heard I Grass do remember Man before, that. Yeah. I always yeah. thought like there were two different things like Bigfoot and Grass Man or whatever, but no, it's the same thing. Yeah. Well, I always thought the they same. were talking about me. So you know what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So and there's like other ones too, like not even just Bigfoot, but those like uh, what is it, the Moth? Man or something like oh, Mothman. Like something yeah, Mothman. Oh, yeah, there's totally like that. different, but yeah, oh, there's yeah, a Mothman. Yeah, there's a Jersey Devil. There's, I mean, there's all kinds Jersey of shit Devil, if you want to get Super into Cabra. all that. Yeah, oh, there's tons of stuff like that. Yeah, what are they like folklore type stuff? Yeah, I mean, yeah, folklore type stuff. But I mean, it, it's uh, to to quote another one of another one of my favorite podcasters, uh, Buckeye Bigfoot. Her thing that she always closes her videos with is absence of proof is not proof of absence. And it, yeah, it's very true. absolutely right. Just because, just because we don't see them, doesn't mean they're not there. If you really think about it, mankind, mankind is only 
you know, a handful of thousands of years old. The planet right. is billions of years old. I mean, we we've only been around so long. There's things on this planet that are older than mankind. Yeah. That we just haven't seen. Look at the look at the coelacanth or the frill shark. They were supposedly extinct. They were supposedly, you know, in the annals of history. And lo and behold, we caught a couple of live ones. Mm-hmm. Saying, so, why not? Well, they came out when that, uh, what was it, that um, underwater, uh, wasn't it a volcano or something like that erupted? Yeah, something like that. We did some kind of deep sea expedition and come mm-hmm. across them. Um, I know the coelacanth was actually caught, I want to say it was off the coast of Madagascar in the 80s or 90s or something like that. And I'll, and that's a prehistoric fish. Right. I mean, the frill shark is what really got me, though. Yeah, them things are creepy looking, ain't they? <laughs> they really are. They got them <laughs> gills with all the like the red lines and shit sticking out. Yeah. I was watching something. It might have been on YouTube, but uh, it was just like, uh, and I think it's when we were going over like the the unknown creature things in the ocean. Um, I was looking at some stuff, and they were talking about the megalodon again, and uh, but they they had like videos of like these huge sharks. Like they had one video of they put food down, and a camera, and like these smaller sharks, which you know not not small to us, but smaller ones came up, right. and was starting to eat, and then they got chased away by this huge freaking shark and i'm t- they they said this thing like just by the camera it had to have been at least like over over 100 feet long 100 and, feet long yes and i don't I said, well, that's a that is a huge freaking shark i don't not say that i i don't disbelieve that megalodon could still be around somewhere down there but in a case like that the camera can make things look bigger than they actually are i mean right. it, it and, that, and that's been, the thing like, it was right up against the camera. It's not like it was far away. It was right up against it, and it just kind of went by slow. So they figured, okay, you know, as long as it took to go by, like, did it take two days to go by 100 feet long? Like, right. Jesus. Right. I mean, Jesus. 100 feet long, that's definitely a fucking megalodon. If that and, was that's, and I would not want to swim with it. <laughs> I mean, oh, hell no. I was actually just I mean, watching this video today. Uh, this guy actually tagged, a, like, a great white shark, mm-hmm. and, and he was tracking it and, you know, checking the body temperature and all that. And then, like out of nowhere, he like he start going down. And all of a sudden, the body temperature spiked, as if it like, like they said that you can only get that kind of temperature as if you were in a stomach. So oh, basically, Jesus. they're saying that shark that they just tagged just got swallowed by something. Yeah, see, that's right. I mean, yeah, it's uh, you, you don't know. I mean, we don't know what's down there. Right. Exactly. Mankind it... decided to go up, not down. Yeah, that's, and look, th- that's a fact that you don't know, like, what's down there. And I agree with that. And I believe in a lot of different things. But at the same time, I feel like a megalodon is just, like, it's, it's so fucking big. And mm-hmm. there has to be more than one. Well, yeah. Oh, yeah. And how can, how can you just hide for so long? Like, the Mariana Trench, I get that. They say they live down there. But at the same time, like, they're just going to stay down there. Like, how can you hide for so long? You know especially, I mean? especially being as big as they're supposedly are, like you yeah, cannot. Yeah, they're fucking huge. There's no way you're right. staying hidden. Well, the, you know they say that about Bigfoot too, but I mean, Bigfoot's real good at hide and seek. <laughs> See, well, well, he's mainly in the woods, though. Right. And, well, and, then again, there's all kind of video evidence and pictures and mm-hmm. whatnot of Bigfoot, and there's nothing of the megalodon. See, in my opinion, I feel like the Bigfoot sighting or sightings are gonna start to spike. <laughs> Just because you know oh, yeah. all, all these places are getting you know trees cutting down and forests getting burnt down, like, they're gonna have no place left to hide. So like, oh, yeah. Gonna, oh, yeah, that's a fact. <laughs> yeah, the the more mankind encroaches into the into the forest, the more they're gonna run into these things. Yep. But I'm gonna pull I up. Seen, a, uh, what was the first one that they like that was caught on? And it was like in the '70s or something, right? Oh Where... no no no, that was um, <sighs> fuck, uh, Patty. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Pat, okay, the Patterson Gimlin film. Yep. And I mean, that was at Bluff Creek in Washington. And and everybody's saying, you know, obviously the people that don't believe in Bigfoot, oh, no, it's fake. That's how can someone that in that time period have that good of a costume with that kind of detail? I mean, it was a black and white photo, right. obviously, but there was so much detail to it. Like you're not getting that kind of costume in that era. 
That's right. Sure. I mean, they, they've been trying for, for decades to disprove that film, but I mean, you can see the muscles rippling yep. as, as well, cause that is a female Sasquatch. And you, not even that, like, and I'm not saying this to be weird, but you can see the crack between the cheeks. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was an actual, too. yeah, it was an actual, <laughs> like, like, I'm not saying that to be funny, but I mean, that's, you can see no, it. Oh, it's and, the truth. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, for, can, for, that's why, there's for no a good way a costume looks like that. For a good example, I'm actually going to pull up a picture of a hairless, like, uh, chimpanzee that, it just recently <laughs> died, but, <laughs> but it's like a normal size ape, <laughs> but it's hairless, and just the muscle definition of it is ridiculous i canning like and if, if you can see like, i just i just pulled it up but that thing alone like if you look at the arms on that thing <laughs> that thing's got a hell of a double chin just imagine three times that size <laughs> and the strength yeah yeah well, that that's that, that dude that that monkey is ripped like freaking triple h dude that monkey's arm is bigger than my fucking head uh, right and that thing's like 100 years old so i mean <laughs> that's an actual like that yeah. real? Yeah, it's real. Yeah. That's not like a statue? No. Oh my god. Nah, that's a hairless monkey, man. That's yep. a hairless chimpanzee. And it just nah, recently died. I don't died. so bad about my double chin. Because, man... <laughs> like, his second Jeez. chin has abs. Yeah. <laughs> he, he's a he's a Balchinian. <laughs> he's a his Balchinian. His chin has more muscle than me. <laughs> <laughs> He's got more right. He's got more muscle in his chin than than I do in my whole body. Yeah, well, a lot of people uh, talking about Bigfoot again. A lot of people mistake that. Well, they say it could be like because obviously there's like hairless beers out there. And have you ever seen them things? Yeah, those are kind of the, the beers that are hairless. Yeah, I don't yeah. Think they I said it. Seen one of them. Dude, Robert, look at look up a hairless beer and put a picture up. Dude, them things now, are creepy looking. Now, a lot of times, bear tracks actually get mistaken for Bigfoot tracks, because right. the way bears walk, their their back foot and their front foot will actually overlap in a track. But bears don't, they don't walk for distances on their hind legs. No. They I mean, they not. can stand up, obviously, but they're not walking, yeah, that, that far with it. Right. I feel like there's a distinct difference between a bear track and a Bigfoot track, though. There, there is a distinct difference. Now, when they overlap, they can look similar, but you know, if right. you know, you you know what you're looking for, where you know bear tracks have pads and you can see the claws, whereas a Bigfoot track, you don't see that. It looks like a giant person track. All right, yeah, so I'm about to pull foot. this thing up on the stream. It, this doesn't even look like a bear at all. I guess it's some kind of disease they have, like some of them have. I mean, I'd say. Yeah, I think it's like man, right. some version of mange or something. Yeah. That looks like a rat or overgrown <laughs> rat slash elephant. Right. Slash so chupacabra. It, it looks like a chupacabra, yeah. That's uh, that slicer. No, what was that dude's name from uh, Ninja Turtles? Oh, that's uh, Splinter. 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 Yeah, that's Splinter on Massive steroids. Splinter. I mean, that thing <laughs> Splinter looks so, on steroids. That thing looks so goofy. That thing's kind of scary looking. I, I it is. Wanna, I, I wouldn't want to run into that in a dark alley. No. Oh uh, no, not at all. I wouldn't want to run into a bear in a dark alley, especially that thing. Well, yeah. Yeah, Ooh, I wouldn't want to run sense. into a bear. Period. They have that, they have rats that size in freaking New York. Yeah. You ever seen the rats out there? Rat I watched a documentary called Rats, and they did show the rats in New York, and that that shit scared me for life, man. They, them things are huge. They said they got like um, uh, what is it called? Uh, parasites. They got parasites on them that doesn't kill them, but will kill kill a human easy. And yeah, bubonic oh, plague. Yeah. That's how the that's how the bubonic plague spread was from the fleas on the rats. That's just crazy. Uh, Debbie commented on here again and said that she has a book called On the Trail of Bigfoot by Mike Duller or Duller, one of the two. Mm -hmm. She said that she got at a Bigfoot festival that if one of us ever wanted to borrow it, let her know. Oh, nice. Yeah, I yeah. might actually like to take a look at that. Thank you. But like I, like I brought up earlier about that FBI file from the, uh, 1977, I posted yeah. it mm -hmm. on the page itself if anybody wants to look at it. Okay, I was looking at it a little bit when you posted it on here. But it's kind of hard to see on, on here, so. Right. I'll have to take a look at that. But no, I definitely want to 
I don't know. I, I don't want to go Bigfoot hunting because, like, that's – I don't know. That's kind of – We'll call it Bigfoot researching. Yeah, we'll do that because – I'm not really trying to hunt one because I'll, I'll, I'll get the snot beat out of me. I can promise you that right now. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, so, even, well, even no. though a gun wouldn't do anything to it, I would feel better with it. Well, exactly. that all depends. I mean, there is a such thing as shot placement, my friend. Well, yeah, true. But I'm going to be shaking the whole time if I see one up close. Uh, yeah, well, I told you what happened to me in Kentucky. I couldn't pull it. Yeah, I mean... That's... I mean, if it's coming towards me, I, th- I could probably pull it. Like, I understand what you're saying, but if something's coming towards me, I don't want to die, so. I'm right, right. I mean, if, it's just, if it's just standing there and it's not doing nothing, okay, I ain't going to pull the trigger. But if it's running at me, something's getting pulled. See, I think <laughs> what's scarier than that, though, like the fact of how big they are and how quick they can move, Yeah. Mm-hmm. but how silent they can move while going that fast. Yeah. Yeah, that's see, that's 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 the scary part. Like, how they can move that fast, but not even make noise doing it. Like we we me and my grandfather had no idea that that thing was even there until we hit it with the floodlight. Yeah, see, all you got you just turn around thinking, oh, something's behind me, and get clotheslined by a freaking Bigfoot. Right, clotheslined just... from hell. You do like twenty <laughs> quadruple flips. <laughs> He's just tearing into you. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I'm sure just like any animal, like like you know the the sighting that me and Robert had at Spencer Lake, they were they were a distance, we were a distance. We looked at them, they looked at us. Nothing bad happened. I'm sure if we encroached on them a bit, you know, some bad shit probably would have happened because oh, you I know probably to it, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, we wouldn't whereas, be here to tell you the story about it. That's right. Right. <laughs> You know, whereas the one in Kentucky made it very, very apparent that it did not want us over there. Yeah. You know, oh, yeah, I, I mean, they're not going to just walk up to you and you don't want to attack you. They're going to let you know first, like, don't come over here. <laughs> and if you are that right. person that says, you know what, let's do this and walk over there, well, sorry about your luck, bud, but that's it. I'm not – see, and That I, was I'm on not, them. Whoever walks over there, it's on them. I'm not claiming uh, yeah, to be no. some kind of Bigfoot expert here. I am by no means an expert on this stuff. I can just tell you what I've researched and what I've experienced. Um, and what makes sense to me. Right. But, like, I these things, in my opinion, these are, like I was telling Logan last time, these things are not Harry and the Hendersons. They are not. No, no, no. no. They are not gentle. They are not, you know, going on. They're they're not something you want to bring home. You know, they are yeah, a dangerous please, apex please not predator. Bring home. They are a dangerous apex predator. I mean, you wouldn't, well, maybe Logan would, but you wouldn't go, you wouldn't go out on the Serengeti and try to pet a freaking lion. Well, but you know what I mean? Well, I don't know. Like I said, One, once would. again, I mean, lifetime opportunities. Yeah. This, like this once one. in a lifetime opportunity, you got to take advantage of that. Yeah, I mean, Logan here wants to play Ring Around the Roses with T Rex if Jurassic Park was ever here. So why would why wouldn't he go up to right. bring a lion? <laughs> you uh, know, I think, so I think we lost the live guys. Yep, it's like losing connection for some reason. There's Bolo's internet again. Yeah, more than likely. That's back hey, up man. now. Yeah. What kind of what kind of internet you got? Uh, and yes, we're sir. back. Sorry, folks. Technical difficulty. Um, connection issues with the internet. But like like I was saying, I mean, uh, with the exception of Logan, because Logan wants to play Ring Around the Rosa with a freaking Velociraptor. <laughs> you yeah. wouldn't go out. You wouldn't go out onto the Serengeti and walk up to a male lion and scratch it behind its ears, going "Good kitty, kitty, kitty." No, absolutely not. No, I would never do that. I would do it right no. under the chin. That's what, uh, yeah. so, I mean, why why would you walk into the Pacific Northwest or Southern Ohio or somewhere where these things are and try to walk up to it and shake its freaking hand? I mean, it, it's an apex predator. You know, I've been you thinking know, about our our, uh, our our podcast that we've had the past few times, and there's not been one. And I've listened to them all, every single one of them, and there's not been one that I have not had to mute my mic for laughing. So I need <laughs> I need to control means- myself. <laughs> we're having fun with it, you know. 
I mean, yeah, I just, yeah, there, there is not, not been one time, because I listen to them all, and I'm like, wait a minute, man, like, why, why is it every single podcast, like, I have to mute my mic, because I am laughing so much. Let me tell but, you something, dude, I can never listen to one of these podcasts, because I do not want to hear my voice. <laughs> dude, it's weird hearing my voice. It's so like, weird. Like when I talk, like you know, it, me and you're talking in person or something like that, it seems like my voice is different. But when I hear it on this, I'm like, I do have kind of a deep voice. <laughs> so it's not, just, it's not just Roberts. <laughs> and like my weird is just kind of weird. That's how I'm able to tell you and Robert apart. Robert has a deeper voice than you do. I'm gonna throw aside everybody off and start talking to high pitched voice. Is, right? Aside from how deep Robert's voice is, you guys sound almost exactly alike. Yeah, yeah, he does have a deep voice. That's yeah, sure. I, I definitely know. Yeah, I definitely. <laughs> Can you imagine if that was his real voice? I don't know. Sound like like Mickey Mouse. Sound like Pinocchio. I, I don't think I I went to, I went, I went talk I to him. I want to be a real sure. boy. <laughs> <laughs> Not the gumdrop buttons. Yes, <laughs> too. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> Like yes, Ro- yes, Robert. We're gonna go on. We're gonna go on our <laughs> camping trip, and we're we're gonna put you in an area by yourself. Robert's just, just gonna wait pop for Bigfoot to come along and just be like, "Yes, who?" Robert's gonna pop his head to our tent, like, "Yes, who?" <laughs> <laughs> That's all you're gonna hear. He's gonna get like, drop kicked right in the forehead. It's gonna oh, freak me out. Bigfoot sleep- coming his way for sure. <laughs> I'm sleeping in my truck. <laughs> Could you imagine that? Like it just being four or five o'clock in the morning, and Robert just. You just hear the, the zipper going undone in the tent, and Robert just has his head looking through. I don't care, who. Oh, no, 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 no. You want some popsicles? It's like one of them. This is with Bigfoot. That's like one of them serial killer movies that you see that you just can guess who it is, and it's freaking Robert. Ain't no you know way what? I would, oh, no. I would love a popsicle at 4 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> yeah, that's all I wanted. Like, thanks for How did me you up, know? Uh, <laughs> hee hee, just a little Jesus juice. <laughs> Hey there, Chris. That's what you're like. What's going on? <laughs> oh my goodness, Robert! You're gonna hear Robert just out by the fire by himself while we're all trying to sleep. I'm like, where's well, the paper boy? I haven't seen the paper boy in a couple of days. <laughs> I saw me bring me some good news. <laughs> oh goodness. Oh goodness. Sasquatch <laughs> is gonna avoid us on purpose. Which brings you to the point. Um, honestly, guys, I mean, Bigfoot does its best to avoid people. Now, I'm oh, not yeah, saying that. That's what I'm saying. saying that they'll throw rocks right. and stuff before, you know, you start getting too close. Right. I mean, I'm not saying because there's all kinds of freaking, there's all kinds of freaking like Native American tales. And, and behind every legend, there's a spot of truth uh, where Bigfoot have, you know, eaten people. Right. And I, I honestly, I wouldn't put it past them. Bears eat people. People eat people. People <laughs> eat people. Right. Yeah. Um, Brian. I'm hungry enough. Our brother I, Brian I, just I sent me a it. photo. Uh, you know, at first glance, it doesn't look like much, mm. but he circled a part of the wood lines. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna zoom in on it. I just, I just threw it up on the stream. I'm gonna right. zoom up on it and tell me, tell me what you see right there in that little circle. I can, okay. For some reason, it's like a delay for me when, when you put stuff up, but I can see it after a while. Yeah, I can see it now. It just popped up. Oh, goodness. Don't, yeah. spoil, the, don't spoil the fun, guys. Hold on. Wait for it. Oh, there it is. <laughs> He's like, I Never haven't mind. seen it yet. <laughs> All right. I got it now. Um, Hold on. Oh, yeah. Zoom in. Did you zoom in enough, Robert? Because like, so mine's kind of delayed, so. Uh, uh, you'll, see it. you'll see it in a minute. What the freak is it? Where was they at? Is this when they went to, uh, because I know they went, they drove by, uh, through a gore orphanage today. And like I'm if, you, this... if you ignore the two black spots above, you can actually kind of make out a head and an arm. Well, that's what I'm trying to. Robert, post that on the page, too. I want to see page? so I can look at that a little bit. Yeah, so I can look at it a little bit. Yeah, there. I haven't been to gore orphanages in a long time, like since I was younger. Yeah, I haven't been there in a while. They went today. They just wanted to drive through there and show the kids, you know, where it was and all that. But uh, I don't know if they seen anything else other than whatever that is. 
Dang, that's weird. Yeah. I just threw it up on the page. I, I'm trying to I'm trying to ignore the two black spots like he said. Right. I'm gonna that's why I'm gonna go on the page and I can see right, a I mean, bit more. If you look at it with the two black spots, it looks like a grumpy old man or something. That's but a if big you, old man. Ignore, right. If you ignore <laughs> the two black spots and just look underneath it, you can kind of make out like like the top of a head and then an arm. Okay, now I see the face. Okay. Doesn't yeah, that look like a little like a little creature thing next to it on the tree branch? It does. Yeah. I think that's just the way the light's hitting the branch, though. Looks like a little like baby owl or something. Yeah. Like you'd be amazed at how much stuff's in the woods that. Oh they're, yeah. They're just right there in plain sight and don't even see them. Right. Yeah, Big that sees you long before you see it. Yep. That's for sure. We have quite a few people watching now. Mm -hmm. Well, that's cool. <laughs> 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 Tell you what, all you seven people watching, why don't you go subscribe on our YouTube channel? <laughs> Hit the like button and leave Hit a that comment. Like button. You better smash it. <laughs> you better smash that like button. Take out your big old Mario hammer and mm -hmm. beat that like button into submission. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Or just do it with your bare hands. Yeah, either one. <laughs> I, need you, I need you to falcon punch the TV's monitor. <laughs> and just straight through it. <laughs> now, do you guys buy? Do you guys buy into that whole telepathic, interdimensional hoopla they're trying to say about Bigfoot? What do you mean? Like it came from a uh, different what dimension? Do you mean, like, like yeah, mentions, like, no, not at all. Yeah, I don't really buy into the, all that either. Uh, same with that. Like, they, there's there's story there's stories that I've heard where where people are saying that Bigfoot can talk to you telepathically. I I don't buy mm -hmm. into that either. I've never yeah, even heard that, and I definitely what don't is, believe. What is it, it? Grog I, from I the Flash? <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm gonna tell you right now. If I'm in the woods, I start hearing voices in my head. That's yeah. it. That's it for me. I'm no longer going in the woods. Right. I mean, I'm probably if I hear voices in my head, I'm probably just gonna stay in the woods. And like I'm already all... fucked. My head's done. Right. <laughs> and there's also there's also people out there that that believe that Bigfoot is some kind of the reason that Bigfoot comes and goes so quick, and you know we never find them is because they they walk between dimensions. Yeah, I seen that. Like the I, aliens I, have something to do with it, and I, I, I yeah, know, and no, I don't see I, that. Yeah, I, I, I'm not discrediting anybody because everybody's entitled to their opinions. I just right. don't really buy into it. No, not at all. Not at all. I mean, not saying I don't believe in aliens, none of that, UFOs, but uh, right. I, I don't see them dropping Bigfoot off. You know, and then picking them up for his lunch break every <laughs> yeah, day, and then, you know, <laughs> and then taking them back. <laughs> Made right. him a ham sandwich. <laughs> They're all on Union, so you don't see them in the wintertime. <laughs> <laughs> Three of them just standing around while one looks and works? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't see that happening. Well, that's the uh, that's the Bigfoot Union there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But you yeah, know, I, don't uh, know what that, I don't know what that thing is that whatever Brian and them caught there and uh, took a picture of in the woods. I have no idea what that is. That, that was kind of creepy looking, yeah. I, I see a face, but yeah, I have no idea. Maybe I've seen the face, and I've seen the owl, too. Maybe mm. it's a woods ghost. Yeah, yeah. Maybe it's not Bigfoot at all, it's a woods ghost. I believe Maybe it. that's the old man that was the caretaker. Brian, I don't know what's going on with you guys, but why is there so many ghosts following you? Number right? one. <laughs> one in his house that plays peekaboo with him, and then he got one in the woods. It's like, no matter where he goes... I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> Brother, you need to find yourself somebody that, that, that can work a smudge stick and just, just anti-ghost yourself, man. Dude, I'm telling you, I, I'm going to go to his house. We're going to do an investigation. Yeah, Brian, there. you need to let me investigate your house, man. We're doing it. We got to. I know he's watching, so Brian, you just comment on here and say, yes, sir. <laughs> <I'll be right laughs> you All can right. definitely do that. You can definitely do that. I already know Robert over there had his air conditioner going. Yep. 
it, we're it sweating got all already. Kind, all, all kinds of quiet. We got all kinds of quiet. And we're sweating already. Uh, let's see. Debbie here says, uh, I will send you my bill for watching. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know. We got to pay people to watch. <laughs> she just coming on here and said that. Uh, oh, they, we got to. She actually put a few that, comments on here. Yeah. She said they do say that orbs and lights are spotted a lot with Bigfoot sightings. That that is a thing. Yeah, they do say that. However, I I think it's this is again this is just my opinion. This isn't like any kind of fact. I'm not some kind of again. I'm not some kind of Bigfoot scientist here. Yeah, but I think it's purely coincidental. Could be. I mean, we don't know. Obviously, I'm only I'm only an expert at one thing. Yeah, just drinking beer. Right. <laughs> that is it. <laughs> I am an Chris expert Dean drinking said, beer. Sorry, no money. <laughs> Who said that? Christine Brimer. Something. I'm I sorry. Don't I don't know how to say your last name. That's a hard Oh, okay. Uh, Christine Brimer Heydrich. What he said. Sorry, that's no right. money. Well, that's okay. You can listen for free. That's, that, that's yeah. good. That's right. It's all we good. Put it on, good. We put it on here for free, so. That's right. Free is always good. <laughs> Free is always good. <laughs> Cold Bud Light in our refrigerator. All right, hey, hey, uh, Debbie, don't be uh, don't be teasing me like that. Number one, <laughs> uh, number two, I drink Budweiser over here, not Bud yeah. Light. Yeah, Bud Light. I'm a I'm a Coors man myself, but uh, that's what my Uncle Jerry drinks. Uh, that's actually Debbie's husband, my Uncle. Uh, that's what he drinks is Coors. Gotcha. Yeah. I try to stay away from water. Says the man drinking Bud Light. Yeah, hey, that's hold, not hold a good thing. Here. Hold on here. All right. I said I drink Budweiser too. <laughs> Whatever else. <laughs> I actually did an experiment one time. Um, I took and I filled a cup halfway with Budweiser and filled it the rest of the way with water and handed it to my uncle. And he couldn't tell the difference between Bud Light and my watered down Bud. <laughs> Okay, number one. I'm a, second thing, you're crossing the line right now. Right. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm going to give you a third thing. I'm going to give you a third thing. Bud Light is just flavored water. Logan. What it is. Logan. Right? <laughs> hey. Okay, Listen, okay. You, at least it's not natural light. Very true. I don't like that stuff at all. I think the people okay. who drink Budweiser end up sleeping with their sister or something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? <laughs> You need no, to keep no, tuning man. in. Let's see what happens. <laughs> that, 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 that's them Pabst Blue Ribbon people. <laughs> hey, my Uncle Chris drinks that. Hey, that's, drinks, uh, no, no, that's that Milwaukee's best ice people right there. You know what? I that's used to drink beast. that. Like, I used to drink that back in the day because it was cheap. Yep. But man, that stuff started hurt. Right, that stuff started hurt my kidneys. I don't fuck with that. it, man. I do. I do drink OE. Oh, no, though. man, that was too much. I drink Old English a lot as well. Ew. Oh, oh man, that taste ooh. buds left. I'm more of like a whiskey drinker than an actual beer drinker, though. See, I like yeah. whiskey, but I, I can't do too much of it anymore. I like whiskey and bourbon. I don't like clear liquors. I only like dark liquors. Yeah, I don't yeah, like clear I'm, stuff I'm a whiskey drinker myself, but I I gotta be careful and not drink too much of that because bad things happen. Fair enough. Oh please, please do tell us. Yeah, please do tell. Me and Jack, me and Jack don't get along so well. Do you do you turn into like a, a mean, mean drunk when you're on that? And when I'm on Jack Daniels, yeah, I be, I go from happy go lucky having fun talking to you guys to you don't want to talk to me when I'm on Jack. Gotcha. So I don't drink Jack Daniels. That's my drinking choice is Jack Daniels. I'm pretty much good with anything else, but Jack Daniels, no, I don't drink Jack Daniels. <laughs> Jack turns me into a, a mean, mean sob. Yeah, Debbie just commented on here and reminded me of something. Yeah, we we'll we went camping. Uh, I don't know if you guys remember Slogan, and because every year all, all the guys go camping, like my uncles, my dad, all of us, and uh, every September. But uh, we went down Deer Creek. I don't know what. Yeah, Deer Creek. Yeah, it was Deer uh, Creek. Yeah, when we heard this. them noises out in the woods. Yep. Mm -hmm. Dude, it was the weirdest. Like it wasn't like an, uh, it, it was no bird or nothing. Like it was like real late at night. 
and the I mean they woke everybody up these noises. So I don't know. I've never heard like a Bigfoot howl or nothing like that. But if there was one, I think that was it. There's audio. There's audio recordings of it. Like you could look it yeah. up. Like that shit um, sounds crazy as hell. Let Let me ask and that, you this: dude, it was were, a weird they, sound. were they like whooping kind of noises or? Or uh, like guttural kind of screaming sort of noises. I, mean, I honestly could make a whole, you, kinda, was, a whole bunch of different noises. It, it almost sounded like a like a low pitched siren. That yeah. very well could have been a Bigfoot. But or you it could tell, have been like, me actual... in the porta potty. It could have been either one. <laughs> <laughs> they have like, been known tell... to make noises like that. Right, you can tell like it wasn't an actual like siren. It was like an animal, some kind of animal doing it, but because it would stop and then it would go again. Yeah. But dude, I and it, and it, like where we camped, it was wooded areas like all around us. Like it wasn't campers down there, none of that. It was like a wood. It was just we were in the woods basically camping, and it was oh, it was it was pretty because it woke everybody up. And yeah, I I want to go back out there. Like we haven't been there in forever. I want to go back out there just to because that'd be that'd be pretty cool. Just take like cameras and stuff out there too. Yeah. And set up, you know, like when we're sleeping. Yeah, because there's no other campers know. or anything, so you could just set up wherever. Right. Exactly. You know, you Bigfoot, Bigfoot throw whistle. And all that up. Right. I mean, they, there's actually what been if, reports a, of a Bigfoot, Bigfoot whistle. Actually, yeah, they actually whistle. Oh, I thought you were talking about like they sell a Bigfoot whistle. No. No. <laughs> like a dog <laughs> whistle. What does that sound like? <laughs> it's like roof. <laughs> um, there's a there's a report. <laughs> I forget who, I, I want to say it may be Jeff Meldrum, but maybe not. I forget who actually it is. There's another sound that they make, and it's actually been recorded. Um, they'll actually make what they, the the research is, they call it samurai chatter, where it's just a bunch of noises, sounds like a bunch of gibberish. That sounds like me when I drink too much. I'm about to say, <laughs> you ain't lying. <laughs> it sounds yeah, like all of us talking when we drink too much. Right. You know, they they make all kind of different noises. Yeah, like I've never, I know there's videos and recordings of them like making noises, but like I could, I haven't listened to them, so I couldn't tell you if that that because it was years ago, like this but, is when we first started camping. Look, I heard a recording one time of like like a recording of like supposedly a Bigfoot howl. That mm-hmm. shit gave me chills, man. That shit sounds crazy as hell. It's like you can't describe mm-hmm. it. It sounds like nothing else. Right. I've had I remember, parts that sound pretty identical to the howl. I ain't gonna lie about it. What'd you say? <laughs> you, you said you had farts? Yeah, I had farts that sounded identical to a stream of Bigfoot. Good Lord. Oh my well, God, dude, you need to get that checked out, man. Yeah, I don't I don't think that was a fart at all. <laughs> <laughs> I remember me and Brian, man, it was years ago. Uh, when we still lived in Lorraine with my parents, it was years. We went to Gore Orphanage, and uh, <laughs> we we were just out there, you know, just recording or whatever with our phones because we didn't have, like, cameras or that. We just got our phones. But, dude, we heard, like, this scream. And it wasn't, like, a, a a person screaming. It was some kind of animal. And I've never heard that in my life. And I never heard it again because I took off running, like, for sure. Mm-hmm. Like, but And I had I had the recording on it because I, I had a I had put it on the computer that we had. But, I mean, that was – I don't have the computer anymore, none of that or the recording. But, dude, it was, like, the weirdest sound I've ever heard in my life. Like never heard an animal sound like that. Nothing. It was it was really weird. Yeah, that's see, that's probably what it was though. Because I mean, you know, Gorfinich, that's all wooded areas too. I need to go back to Gorfinich. That's what I need to do. I ain't been there in fucking years. <laughs> <laughs> Brian, Brian, freaking comment on there said it woke me up, and I, I was so scared he had to put me back to bed. <laughs> he said. He said, he, said, he said them uh he said that sound we heard sound like Robert when he it sounded like Robert when he fell through the floor. Okay, one, first Ryan, of all you yeah, first of all, that was you, Brian. <laughs> Let me tell you something. If you ever want to know what a Bigfoot sounds like, screaming for help <laughs> You you should have heard Brian, my brother Brian, when he fell through Robert's floor when we were working on it. Oh my god, he fell through it and all you heard was <laughs> help, 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 help. <laughs> you gotta be careful where you step on Robert's floor. Last time I was he there, I almost say, fell through Robert's floor. 
He tried to say it. He had like three different reasons of why he screamed. Number one, he said he was getting electrocuted <laughs> by wood. I don't know. <laughs> Number two, by the wood. The second reason, yeah. The, the second reason was he was getting attacked by something. By what? <laughs> I don't know because he fell on top of me. If he he fell on top of me when he fell, so if he was getting attacked by something, I had nowhere to go. I was pinned. <laughs> like he's a. And I forgot what the third reason was. Oh, the third thing was he didn't scream. It was not him that said help. I don't know who. It might have been me from him being on top of me. <laughs> but it was him the third. Uh, Debbie here says that your uncle Jerry is talking about going to Salt Fork State Park camping and doing some Bigfoot investigation. Yep, we were just actually talking about doing that uh, sometime this fall. I went out there yep. and camping for the weekend and doing it. If you want to tag along. I will have a camera for a live stream, though. Even if not a live stream, not a live stream, <laughs> but like just to see Brian. if we record anything. Right? Brian, <laughs> did you see the comment, Robert? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this might have been Steve biting, 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 biting my ear. I don't know. Yeah, right. <laughs> Dude, you, <laughs> you fell through the floor. You got scared because you thought you got stuck. And you were yelling for help. Oh, it was no. I didn't Mike Tyson you. I didn't, you didn't get electrocuted. You didn't get electrocuted by anything. So I got bit. Gonna, we're not gonna start. He's like, ooh, something bit me. <laughs> yeah, I think something might have been biting your ear. Yeah, because my whole body was a slinky, and I was able to move that much of your freaking ear. Electrocution, <laughs> huh? Were you working yeah, oh, with yeah. a guy named Eric Standifer? <laughs> That guy electrocuted me, and to this day, I never let him forget about it. I remind him on the daily that his ass electrocuted me. <laughs> you got electrocuted? Yes, I did. By, like, how many volts, though, are we talking? Oh, uh, just, just a 110. I mean, it wasn't... Oh, okay. But, um, our, our boss, Rocky, moved into a, in, into a house, and er Eric's his stepson. <laughs> Eric had one job to make sure the breaker stayed off while I'm down here wiring in this outlet for Rocky. Common sense, and yeah. What what that dummy do? He went and flipped the breaker on on me. <laughs> you <laughs> had <laughs> one job, <laughs> All right? I can imagine you just shaking down there. <laughs> <laughs> no, it shot me up, and I hit my head on the bottom of the desk I was laying under. Jesus. And you said you're a big boy, so it shot you up. <laughs> Yeah. Good lord. Well, back then I wasn't like quite as big as I am now, but still. See, but see, I don't, I don't think I ever met ever met you in person. I don't think. I've but, like, seen pictures, in person. but seeing pictures, I don't I, I don't see you wearing that that size shirt. You you've met me you've met me once. I have. Yes. Was I drunk? Maybe. <laughs> like, cause I don't remember. I, I it might have been. It's just a good possibility he was drunk. That's like a. Probably ninety nine point nine percent of what it was. Yes, I don't... <laughs> Robert, read, read the comment Brian just put on there. All right. <laughs> Want to hear oh, something no. that sounds like Bigfoot? <laughs> tell Robert to sit in gas. Okay. <laughs> that was <laughs> Robert's about to end his broadcast because you already know Brian's about to bring. <laughs> <laughs> he's, about, he's about to get banned from this podcast. <laughs> that was, dude, that was the funniest thing in the world. I'm not going to go in, but that was the funny When Robert sat in that gas in the back of my dad's van, that was the funniest thing in the world. I was like Robbie's oh, age. Oh, my God. I was like five years old, sitting in a pool <laughs> yeah. full of gas. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, dude. It was, it was pretty funny, though. I couldn't stop laughing. That's, that's about as funny as when I was a kid. And see, I, I grew up a poor kid in Cleveland. and Dad drove what he could get a hold of, you know. Dad had this old, like, 70s Chevy work van. Oh, no, god and, dang, and last like, year, Brian. One <laughs> back seat. And, um, it had, uh, it, it had these big, like, big rust holes in the floor in the back. Like, you could look down and see the, see the road under the van. And, uh, when we would go on, like, my grandfather's in Ashland and shit. <laughs> if you had to pee, Dad said go pee out the hole in the back. Well, my dad didn't think twice didn't think twice about it and he told my sister that and my sister went to try to pee out the hole in the back <laughs> and ended up peeing all down her leg and all over the back of the van. <laughs> 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 oh 
<laughs> Sarah, if you're listening, I'm sorry, but I had to. How Ooh. did this go? Like every every dude, how every does podcast. that attempt even go? Like uh. <laughs> he said it was last year. Yeah. It wasn't no last year. <laughs> we, we are so far off topic now. Dude, it, 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 what, but look, Robert's telling the truth. It wasn't last year. It was last month. Okay. I what Listen, he's talking I heard about. It was last week. So, so here, earlier today. <laughs> just, <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I am currently sitting in gas. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't too much. It wasn't too far off topic because Robert Brian said that's what he sounds like. He sounds like Bigfoot when he sat in that gas. So I guess we were still kind of <laughs> talking something. about it, but related. <laughs> oh my god, I gotta I stop go laughing off, so look, much. I'm a, I have a problem. I go off topic a lot, so. But that's what I go. You know, I'll go in like twenty different tangents on each, like every time I talk about something. <laughs> you know what? I don't think I don't think we would be this podcast if we did not go off topic and. And I did right? not laugh at least one time during this during this thing where I had to mute my mic. So we run that's... our podcast like a WMMS radio show. Pretty much, we'll start talking about one thing and then it just goes off. And we we need a Jeffrey, right? Oh well, oh. you could be you could be the Jeffrey. I'll be, I'll be the more educated Jeffrey. There yeah, we yeah, go. I'm gonna say yeah. I'm smarter, but I'll do the dumb <laughs> shit. I had a diarrhea accident. <laughs> oh God, yeah. Skip Hope nobody cinema. has one of them. I'm not yep. going that far. Yeah, don't go that far. <laughs> you want you want to watch me go pet a lion though? I'll do that shit. Oh God! <laughs> now now we're into Opie and Anthony territory here. Or Dare Dieter, yeah, Dare Dieter. Dare Logan. Dare Logan. Dare Logan. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, once we, once we get a studio and a camera and shit, we're gonna have to do like fucking vlogs of Dare and Logan. <laughs> dare Logan. <laughs> I dare Logan to kneel down on a fire ant nest or some dumb shit like you're gonna get so many dumb requests. It's what true. I was thinking. You know today, what? I'll do it. Oh, I was thinking today. That uh oh. One yeah, well, I know I don't do a whole lot of that, but Uh oh. Today now, I was um, your brother if, is one of no. my best friends, so uh <laughs> yeah. Uh oh. Yeah. No, it's not too bad. If now I want all you guys to agree with this, obviously, before we can do it. But if we hit 50 subscribers on YouTube, as soon as we hit it, we have to go live, and we have to do a world's hottest challenge. Oh, like, God. video live. I do that shit anyway, so of course I'm down for that. Well, I mean, I mean, we've done the peanut, Logan, obviously. Uh, I've tried the, the toe of Satan, the sucker. You've done, you've done the penis. Um, that's a little personal, isn't <laughs> well, it? I'll, 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 let me rephrase it. your mouth. I said peanut. <laughs> <laughs> that is something I, I we think, can't say on YouTube. <laughs> at all. I think we need to try the world's either the world's hottest gummy or the world's hottest chocolate. I think Facebook just shut us down. The minute I said penis, we lost the video signal. It's true. Did we lose it? Yeah, we did. It's yeah, it's live video interrupted. Huh. And it's back up. Well, I'll tell you what, Robert. Why don't we... All right. I was going to say, here in about, like, maybe 10, 15 minutes, we'll end this one. And okay. then we can try the we can try the YouTube one. Just definitely. for a little bit. We ain't got, you know, we ain't got to be on there long just to see if right. it works, though, at least. Definitely. Definitely. No, but no, for uh, anyone, no for anyone phallic that did not, instruments included. Yeah, yeah. For anyone <laughs> that did not hear what we're going to do, well, hopefully these guys do it, too. I know Logan will. Well, hopefully the other two will. Once we hit 50 subscribers on YouTube... We're gonna do. A, we're gonna go live video, and we're gonna do uh, a world's hottest challenge. Hello. Hi. Hello. 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 Did you guys hear me the whole time? Uh, were you talking? Yeah, I got disconnected. Oh. Yeah, it just it just showed that he got back on. But uh, no, we're gonna do the world. If once we hit 50 subscribers on YouTube, we'll do a world's hottest challenge, and it's either gonna be the world's hottest gummy, gummy beer, or the world's hottest chocolate. We'll do one of them. <laughs> All right. So Brian just put on there. Listen, Jesus, probably talking about Logan. Yeah. If you go pet a lion, <laughs> you go pet a lion, you won't be able to help yourself. You'll sound like Bigfoot screaming for help like that one you heard in Deer Creek. <laughs> oh God. That's a fact. Yeah, yeah probably. <laughs> Come back with one That's arm. For sure. yeah. I, I will strongly consider doing the, the world's hottest challenge. Um 
Robert tried to get me do, to do the one chip challenge, and my response mm -hmm. to Robert was, um, I'm best friends with my colon, and I don't want to ruin that friendship. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. <clears throat> like I said, I, I, I tried a couple. We did the peanut. Uh, I did the Toa Satan, which is a sucker. If if you, I don't know if you ever tried the chip at all, but if you try that chip and you think that's hot, you try that peanut. The the first three, because there's five of them. The first three, yeah, it goes bad. up a ladder. They're kind of spicy, but not too bad. The the fourth one's getting there, but that fifth one, I can tell you right, it made me throw up. That's how hot it was, and I've never we got like a, hot stuff at all. Damn, we got a video of it actually somewhere. On YouTube, it's on YouTube. My dad put it up, but yeah, it made me throw up afterwards. Like I waited the five minutes, like you're supposed to afterwards, but after that, I had it because it's not even the peanut itself; it's that dust on the peanut. You know what I'm saying? It, oh man, that yeah. hit my stomach, and that was it. That was it. I will not do that one again. Well, I I, I have a, a a hot stuff story actually. <laughs> um, what kind of turned me off to really hot things? I, I was about 12 years old, and my dad took us to Quaker Steak and Lube. And I really, really wanted to do the Atomic Wing Challenge. And he just would not let me do it. So what he did was he ordered me six of the, at the time, the supercharged wings were one step under the Atomic. And I ate six of those. It turned my lips purple. or No, it turned my face purple, my lips white. And I used a regular napkin to wipe my fingers off. And I went and took a leak. Dude, needless that's the say, number one rule. Right? Needless Ouch. to say, I was squirming. Oh, yeah, I'd say. My, so my that, brother, that... Brian, when, the one that keeps counting, he actually did that crap. Uh, my uncle gave him a, a taste of something. I don't know what it was. What, remember what that was, Logan? Scorpion. Where you just put it on a toothpick? Oh, that was oh, uh, the double that was, that, was that, pure, that was pure capsicum. Oof. Yeah, he gave, him, he, he gave us all like a little toothpick of it, and we, we tasted it or whatever. Well, Brian had some on his fingers and he went pee and well it was yeah and he was screaming himself look let me tell That's, you yeah so look he works at a spice he used to work at a spice factory and they put yeah. one half a drop of capsicum in every regular bottle of hot sauce just one in the entire bottle a half of one and he dipped that in a toothpick and then you put that toothpick in your mouth that shit could leave sores in your mouth yeah. Well, yeah, it's pure capsaicin, dude. Yeah. Yeah, that stuff. That stuff was hot. But uh, that's one of the that's one of the ingredients in like military grade pepper spray. Yes, yep. and he had a yeah. bottle of it that he used to dip toothpicks in and make people do it. Oh Jesus. Yeah. All right. So for those of you yeah, who are it's... not already subscribed, I threw the link to our channel on YouTube. So we're right. gonna, once we get off of here, we're gonna go over there and probably be live on that for a little while. But uh. Yeah, if you're not even if you guys don't it. watch, yeah, even if you guys don't watch YouTube a lot, just subscribe to us and at least like watch a little bit of our our lives and like them, and then that'll help us out for sure. Hey Stevie, Definitely. look at Debbie's comment. The last one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then, oh, oh, we for sure we for sure were eating that peanut. Uh, that's not a lie. That, that was hot, dude. We made some hot stuff, but that was uh that tore me up. That's for sure. I would never do that peanut again. I want to do the. I do want to try the world's hottest gummy bear or that chocolate. I haven't tried the chocolate yet, but uh, you I know heard that the gummy bear is a lot, a lot hotter. It's probably hotter than that peanut. It is. That I've heard the gummy bear is, but it's. It doesn't. I think the only good part about it is it doesn't have the powder on it like that peanut did. Where I'm gonna throw up everywhere. Hopefully. I mean, I tell you what. For for all all you guys listening. If, because I know humanity itself has a funny sense of humor. <laughs> uh, for all you guys listening, if you help us hit 50 subscribers on YouTube, you will get to see a fat man cry. Everybody <laughs> wants to I see will, that. I will do the gummy bear challenge. We'll all do it. Fuck it. I'll, I'll tell you it. what. Not only will we do, a, <clears throat> oh yeah, we're going to do a world title challenge. Not only will we do that, but we're going to have, uh, we're going to have shirts made for us for right now. Since once once we hit fifty subscribers, whoever subscribed to us will put all your names in a in a hat or whatever, and we'll do it live on video. We'll draw a name. Whoever wins, we'll get you guys a shirt. How about that? <laughs> How about that? <laughs> My mother in law says so. No hot sauce for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, well, baby. <laughs> you, 
The hot sauce you get me is regular stuff. That's not a uh, stuff that's going to burn my face off. What's regular stuff to you, Brian? Like as far as hot sauce? Like regular hot sauce, you know, just regular. So just like uh like Frank's nah, hot sauce stuff like that. Louisiana hot sauce. Louis Yeah, I like Louisiana. See, Red regular you know, cayenne pepper see, sauce. Regular hot sauce like for Louisiana. me has a skeleton of a parrot on it. And it has warning labels on it. That's my regular hot sauce that I eat on burritos and everything. Hey, Logan, I'm going to take it down. That ain't. All right. <laughs> That's not regular. That's my regular. Right. But, yeah, to, to Mo, that is not regular. So, but there, there is a catch, though. Um, If we hit a million <laughs> subscribers on YouTube, Logan is going <laughs> to butt, butt chug a bottle of hot sauce. Oh God! <laughs> butt naked, butt naked, while wearing a blue well, beard. <laughs> while wearing a what? While wearing a bee beard. I don't know what that is, but yes. <laughs> oh God, I'm scared. She says wait till next year. She's gonna get me some oh, kind of some kind of melt my face off. <laughs> Dude, wait hey. a million subscribers, I'll do whatever that, how anybody wants. <laughs> Jeez, yeah, I we can get that feel many subscribers. <laughs> Dude, I'll, I'll chug a beer up my butthole. I don't care. Like, I'll do something. Oh, okay. Uh, Debbie says, so question, do you believe Bigfoot can communicate with each other? Yes, yes. absolutely. I do believe that. I believe um, that. Oh, yeah. And it, it may not be as something as simple as, like, you know, me and you talking or whatever, but, like, they make they make sounds, like, either with their right. mouths, like, hitting a tree, like a tree knocks, anything like that. Right, absolutely. Well, that's, that's just like uh, the, tree, the tree knocks or the, the whoops. That's like communicating back and forth. Right. right. Um, well, that's just like, you know, dogs. Obviously, we can't communicate with them, but they can communicate with each other. Barking and, and licking their butthole and all that other crap. <laughs> right. <laughs> I mean. Right. I, I mean. Um, <clears throat> oh, wow. I lost my train of thought. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm sorry. so Bigfoot actually, <laughs> believe, believe it or not, there's been research that shows that Bigfoot actually travels in family groups, kind of like chimps or gorillas or other great apes. So even though you see one, generally there's a few more around. So absolutely, absolutely they would need a way to communicate with one another. <laughs> yeah, I, I'd say. I'm not laughing at you, Brian. I'm laughing at my brother. Brian, you're just so unprofessional, <laughs> dude. Brian, you're unprofessional, dude. So no, unprofessional. My brother, is so, my brother, is so unprofessional, and he makes up lies. Look at this crap. Oh Jesus! Look at that. Look at that comment. Well, there I go using Logan's name in vain again. Uh, yeah, I don't, uh, you yeah, gotta I don't watch that, that, bud. You gotta watch that. <laughs> well, you don't want to go to hell. Well, yeah, it's time at work. I'm already on my way there. Number there one, Brian, we're gonna. Now, and when I say Brian, I'm talking about my brother here because he's commenting. I, I, I've never been to a gay club. All right. Okay. I can promise you that right now. All right, okay. so we got a comment from Joe. He wants to know who'd win in a fight, Bigfoot or a Yeti in a fist fight. Hmm. Uh, it, well, it depends on the climate. <laughs> yeah, it would depend on, on, on the <laughs> Joe, climate. That's I mean, real shit. Yeah. That, that's that's a good one. That's a that that's That's like some deadliest warrior shit there. I would I would watch that fight. Like so would I, obviously, I would, uh, who would dude? I would you could to. sell all of uh, the world would watch that fight. I mean, yeah. honestly, if let's say if the if it was in a like the wooded areas where you're surrounded by trees, where you know your typical Bigfoot lives or is hiding at, I would say the Bigfoot would have that fight because that's his surrounding, that's his domain. He knows the ins and the outs, and right. he can sneak up on you without you even knowing about it. Yet he wouldn't be camouflaged in the woods. Right. And if, but if right. you're in Antarctica or the North Pole or like something crazy like that, I'm giving it to the Yeti. Right. And that would be uh, the Himalayan mountains. Yeah. Either way. Right. Oh, yeah. You, I mean, that, you're that in some snowscape. Sell. Yeah. And like, it, it, <laughs> that the Yeti wouldn't even have to kill the Bigfoot. It would just have to like immobilize it and it can die out on its own. Like, it can't, it couldn't even survive in the climate yep. that it's in. Right. Could you imagine, though, like, someone caught that on camera? Because they're not just going to post that, like, on YouTube, like, oh, look at what I found. No, they're going to sell that crap. Like, oh, no, yeah. someone's oh, yeah. buying this, and they're not just going to post that on YouTube. It's like watching two grizzly bears fighting over a piece of fish. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Which is actually very funny, no matter what the species. 
<laughs> That's right. <laughs> yeah, that would be a pretty decent fight, though, to see. Yeah, it would. Huh. See, that, that like, look, thinking of the Yeti and Bigfoot, like, if I'm talking people here, that's like Robert, my brother Brian, going at it. Because Robert gets hot, <laughs> so he has to be the Bigfoot. <laughs> All right, so he he does he can't be he gets hot, so he, that has to be. And then Brian walks around with shorts in the winter times, so but that's Yeti for sure. <laughs> so, but be, very beast going at but it. But my skin tone matches more of a Yeti though. <laughs> oh, okay. uh, very true, very true. So I'm maybe like a, Brian can be Bigfoot, you can be Yeti. So I'm like a walking jar of mayonnaise. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's that's true. That is very true. <laughs> Get some sun on that thing, right? <laughs> yeah. But all right, yeah, I think this is a, if Robert... a good place to end it, though. I mean, yeah, I yeah, would definitely yeah. say so. It's been a pretty good night. Yeah, I mean, we'll leave yeah, like the next five can, minutes uh, up for people to, to, yeah, go head over to YouTube and subscribe, and we'll go live there for a little while and call it a night. We'll make you laugh over there for a little bit. We'll just try to absolutely. You have been listening to the Bearded Brothers podcast with me. I'm Brian, Steve, Robert, and Logan. You folks have a good night now. Don't let the monsters bite.